this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, I went around, I captured a brand new Pokemon, which I'm very proud of, which is Miss Stampy Cat, which is basically uh, basically a, a girl meow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go and try and do the battle again. So if you remember, I tried battling this lady a while ago, and she defeated me pretty easily, to be honest. And I've done a little bit of leveling up in the last episode. I've got my new star Pokemon, Miss Stampy Cat. <laughs> so let's give it another go and let's see if I can actually defeat her this time. So I remember last time she, um, uh, she had a Magnemite at first, didn't she? And I still don't really have any great Pokemon, uh, to, to go against electric Pokemon, but I feel like my Meowth might be okay, so let's go and start off uh, by sending out um, Miss Stampy Cat, and then we can kind of switch around and play around where we need to. Hopefully just kind of everyone's ever- Oh no, I got it wrong! It wasn't a Magnemite! Oh, I maybe I shouldn't have started off with Stampy Cat then, maybe I should save Stampy Cat. Um, well I don't know, because there's this move, uh, what's it called? I got Fake Out. And apparently, if I use it first, it means I attack first, and I think it makes it so it flinches and kind of- Yeah, look at that! So I can just always use that move first, and it basically means it doesn't attack back to me. So that's really handy. I'm going to switch away now, though, but <laughs> I kind of got just a, a free hit in there. So uh, yeah, I think starting off with Meowth's a good idea. It only works the first time, though. Like, if I kept using the move again, it wouldn't mean that uh, the, the other Pokemon always flinches. It only counts for the, the first time, so that's kind of the, the downfall, but... Still pretty awesome though, isn't it? <laughs> All right then, let's uh, oh, what happened then? Why, why didn't my move work? Does it not work? Um, oh no, no effect. Oh, I should have read that. <laughs> oh dude, that wasn't very good of me. All right then, Bowie, I don't care too much about Bowie. Like I care about Bowie, but I don't care about saving it so much because, uh, because it's Magnemite going up next. Magnemite's really effective against um, uh, bird Pokemon. So I am going to try and uh, switch away to, to either have Miss Stampy Cat uh, or my very own Toofy uh, going up against it because they're not effective against it, but they're not necessarily not effective against it, if that makes any sense. So <laughs> yeah, Bowie doesn't matter too much, but once again, she's used that potion. I remember she did that last time. I might uh, give uh, give Bowie a potion as well, just to, just to get their health up anyway, just to play it safe. Like I'd rather use a potion now now, uh, while the, um, her young goose isn't doing much damage against me, uh, rather than wait until a little bit later on against the, the Magnemite, and I kind of can't do it because I get absolutely defeated. So let's just go and use this uh, this potion now, uh, just for, for safety, and then let's try and defeat it, and then hopefully we are going to be able to defeat the, the Magnemite, because the Magnemite have been like... It's been like the big problem against me. <laughs> so far, just like in this Let's Play in general, Magnemites have been the biggest thing that I've faced so far that has caused me trouble. So uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to, to defeat this one uh, with uh, with less trouble. And look at that. Pecky grew to level 10. There's no way we can lose. Oh, and actually, sp oh, Smeargle. Does, does it not even use a map? I thought... Oh no, it wasn't a Magnemite. It was that little grass Pokemon. What am I on about? <laughs> what have I been going on about this whole time? It wasn't the, um, the Magnemite. It was just that little bush thing, wasn't it? And I needed a fire potion. Pokemon. Okay. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> it was that and not what I was saying. But anyway, let's go straight in though. And let's go and use Fake Out. Because uh, that's going to uh, kind of give me the free hit. And oh, I've got a critical hit. And now I get another hit. So there's no point using Fake Out again. But I can go and use Bite. And Bite does have a chance to make the other Pokemon flinch. It's not definite like the, the, the Fake Out one was. But there's a chance it's going to make it flinch. And look at that. It's doing loads of damage. I think I'm going to win this. Like, as long as I survive this tackle... Oh, no, I didn't... <laughs> Why did I say that? Why did I say survive the tackle? <laughs> oh, I was just asking for trouble then, wasn't I? Well, I guess it doesn't matter who I switched to now. Oh, that's annoying, because now Miss Stampy Cat's not going to get any of the experience, and she did loads of the, the work, but it doesn't matter. I can go and... um. Uh, take out this, uh, this mi uh, miracle. Am I even saying that right? Oh yeah, but what I was gonna say is, um, Pecky learned a new attack as well called, like, I think it's Rock Throw she learned, so that's gonna be, um, uh, hopefully pretty effective uh, against some of these future Pokemon, but it doesn't matter. I was able to to win the, the battle in general, and much easier than last time. Well, I was able to win, and it wasn't even that difficult. So, leveling up just a little bit, uh, like I did in the, the, the last episode, it definitely helped me out big time. You, or should I say you and your Pokemon, make quite the interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Burdunt Cavern and attempt the trial, the trial of Lalima. You can get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. 
I bid you alola. Wait a minute, I thought that's how you say hello. This is supposed to be like aloha, I guess, but it's alola. I don't know. Zzz, root tooth, it's just too exciting to miss today. There's... Oh. I was listening to that. <laughs> Do you reckon that's where um where that Taurus I saw earlier was? So if I go left from here and up, there's a whoa. The game just froze then. Uh, yeah, uh, left to here and up, there's a, a Taurus that was kind of hanging out in that area. Do you reckon that's where where root? Ah, it is. It is. I can see on the map. That is exactly uh, where Route Two is. So all right then, let's just go and just go and head straight up there. Like I know I was gonna kind of go back to my home and try and capture more Pokemon there, but you know what? I just want to keep going onwards and upwards for now. I want to go uh, up to, to Route 2, because I'm sure I'm going to capture loads of new Pokemon on the, the, the way, and uh, that's going to be where the, the trial is uh, as well. So I might as well uh, just go and kind of find out where the, the, the trial is actually going to be, if I can find where this cavern is. And then, yeah, I should be able to, to continue exploring the, the rest of the islands. I still haven't seen all of it yet. Oh, wait for me, Stampy. Oops, sorry, I forgot about you, Lily. <laughs> I forgot we're supposed to be going around together. She's supposed to be showing me around the, the island. I'm just doing it myself. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. Are you going to Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and to gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. The people in Licky Town said that Tapu Koko lo loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we could find the answer to why it saved you and Nebby that day, Stampy? Pew! Stampy, good luck with your first trial. I hope that it goes well for you. Oh, thank you, Lily. You're so good to me. <laughs> right then, let's see if I can get past here. <laughs> there, Stampy. I've got this orny creature. Calm down for now. Want to try giving him a pet again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Okay, let's go and try and give it a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe old Taurus here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems to be happy to know you. And yet, it seems like, to me, like Taurus wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. <laughs> what? You want to play tag now? The Melly Melly Kahuna never loses friends. <laughs> Uh, they're like, I know you eventually end up riding the Tauros. I wonder if it's going to be that Tauros that actually kind of ends up going around with me. But look at this. A whole new area. Oh, let's just dive straight into here. No, what's that? I got attacked by a giant bush. No. <laughs> what was that thing? Oh, hello. A wild Makuhita appeared. I recognize this one. I've seen this one before. Right. Let's go and uh, try and take this one out then. Oh, it's level nine. It's a pretty powerful one. I guess we're, we have kind of head to a, a new area now. So we are going to be going up against a more powerful Pokemon. Should I try and catch it? I can't even pronounce its name properly. It's a Makuhita. Makuhita? Does that sound right? I mean, that sounds about right. It's a Makuhita. That's uh, <laughs> that's what I go for. I apologizing. I apologize for butchering the pronunciation of uh, just about everything in this game. The Pokemon, the places, the people... I'm just not very good at reading, I guess, but I try my best, and uh, that's what really matters. And people always correct in the, the comments below, and I always do see uh, <laughs> your comments. I know I'm saying it wrong, but it's just it's just too late for me now. It's just too late for me to change, and whoa! That did loads of damage against me there. I think it's like a, um, a fighting Pokemon by the looks of things. All right then, let's go and use the, the next Pokemon. Let's uh, let's go and bring out Toofy. Well, I might just try and capture it now, anyway. I think, let's see its health again. Do you reckon... Hmm, do you reckon I'll be able to get that with a Great Ball? I don't have a huge amount of Great Balls, so I don't want to waste them, but let's give it a go. Let's see if I can catch it with a Great Ball. If not, I'll go for one more attack, and if I don't defeat it with that, uh, then I'll, I'll go and, uh, and try and capture it again. Right, one, two, three. Yes, I caught it. I caught the Makuhita. Mac Makuhita. Mac Mac Makui. Mac Mac Makita. Makita. That's what it's that. Mukita. Mukita. That's what it's supposed to be, isn't it? Muk. Mac, Makuita, Makuita, <laughs> the little one with the face and the arms, that one, that one, the one with the little, little puffy hands, that, that's the one I captured, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> let's give it a nickname anyway, and then, and then we don't need to worry about what it's actually called, um, right, 
So it's got, so it's got a big, it's, it's a smiley face, and it's got the little, it's got like the little punchy hands. Punchy, pun, punchy, poochy, pooch. No, poochy sounds like a dog. Poo, 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 pee, pee, pa, poo. I, don't, I feel like it needs to, I feel like it's a, it's a B or a P Pokemon. Uh, boo, boopy, boopy. I'm going to call this boopy. Don't you love my progress for coming up with names for things? <laughs> Just keep making noises until I like the sound or something. But it's got to like, it's got to fit, doesn't it? Like, boopy fits. If, like, if you brought the new Pokemon game, and you came up against that Pokemon, and you hadn't seen it before, and it was called Boopy, you'll be like, fine, that, that, that's okay. I, I don't question the fact that it's called Boopy. That, that's kind of what I'm going for. Oh, an Abra, here we go, here we go. Right, oh, can I, can I, is there anything I can do to capture this thing? What level is it going to be? I need better Pokeballs. Oh, it's level 10. Um... Oh no, I can't. I, there's nothing I can do here. It's just going to get away, isn't it? It's just going to teleport away from me. Yep, teleport it away. <laughs> I, I want to get one. I spent so much of the last episode trying to capture one. And they keep reappearing and just teasing me. Because they're quite, they're relatively rare. Relatively. Compared to some of the other Pokemon, they're relatively rare. And they keep just showing up and then they just teleport away. And it upsets me. I'll be honest, it upsets me. Right then. Let's go and, uh, we might as well go and battle this, um, uh, this Meow. Uh, just to, to try and keep leveling up. I don't want to fall down at all. Look, Rock Smash is super effective. And uh, this is a, a fighting move, apparently. I thought it was going to be like a ground move or something. But I guess it's a, um, a fighting move. And that did, uh, well, it was very effective. i got to give it that. It did uh, loads of damage against it. Uh, it used a growl against me, which put my attack down. So I'm going to play it safe and do a, another rock smash. Uh, rock smash. Uh, seeing as uh, my damage is down a bit, I don't want to. I don't want to take any chances. And I want to make sure I defeat it. So there we go. Well, that's the the, the meow taken out. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's keep heading up now. Let's see if we can uh, get out of the uh, the the grass before we end up battling something else. But that was crazy when that thing just charged me. I don't know. Oh, this is a this is a Pokemon battle. This is a trainer battle here. Right then. Okay. I probably should have gone and. Um, and gotten and healed up or something. I should be okay. Most of my Pokemon are, are still fine. She's only got one Pokemon though, which means it's probably going to be quite strong. And it's a Ghastly. What's effective against ghosts? Is it like steel Pokemon or something? I know that normal moves do nothing against it. What about fighting moves? I don't know if fighting moves can even damage it at all. There's a chance this will do nothing. But let's see. No, it doesn't even affect it. I'm just, this is just part of the learning process. <laughs> uh, what about flying? Are flying moves any good against go uh, ghost Pokemon at all? What's this? This is crazy. Oh, I can't escape. I wasn't trying to say this is a Pokemon like trainer battle anyway. I can't escape anyway. No, that seemed to do okay. Like I remember back in the day when I was playing on my good old Game Boy Pocket <laughs> and playing Pokemon Blue in 1996, which is when I started playing Pokemon Blue. If you let that sink in, well, how many of you were born in 1996? Put your put your arm up if you were born when I was playing Pokemon. <laughs> I know some of you are, but I'm sure there's a good amount that weren't. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, I remember playing that, and you'd have these little blurry pictures, these little blurry black and white pictures of the Pokemon pop up, and then it would come up with a text saying, "You use this move," and they would say like, I don't know, Bulbasaur used tackle. And then instead of seeing Bulbasaur tackling, he would just shake a little bit. He would just go bloop and just do a little shake. And then it would play a little sound effect that would go like, like that. <laughs> Literally like that. And then that's what like what the attack would be. And oh, what am I doing? I need to clean it, don't I? Or like it would say, I don't know, like you used Ember. And you'll just see some little blurry black and white flames would just kind of go across the screen. The Pokemon would hardly move. And now they're like jumping around. They're spinning. Garcy's got his eyes covering the entire screen. Like it's so different. Like in some ways, the Pokemon games haven't changed at all. Like what you're doing in the Pokemon games and like the main point of the Pokemon games, like the gameplay hasn't changed much. Like they keep adding things. Like they've added in like the fact that they can hold items, they've added in day-night cycles, and you know, they've added a bunch of features. But the actual main game is pretty much exactly the same as when I was playing it, you know, back in 1996. Which is uh, kind of crazy when you think about it. There's another little patch of grass. Oh, let's look down here. Oh, what's this place? Like, I can't get up there. What does the sign say? Oh, it's a cemetery. Okay, maybe this is going to be a place for, for me to capture some ghost Pokemon. Maybe I could get my, my very own Ghastly. I don't want to, um... I don't want to spend too much time around here, especially as it seems like there's um some more trainers. There's a random cowgirl hanging out there just waiting for someone to, <laughs> to 
to, to wander into her sights to, to go and to attack them. So let's let's keep making my way up Route 2 for, for now. And let's find out where we're supposed to go. And then we can kind of go and start exploring. And oh, look, someone's riding one. That's what I want to be doing. That would be a much quicker way to, to get around. And oh, I didn't even see him there. Uh, preschooler uh, wants to, to fight. Right then. Let's go straight into a, another battle then. I think I should be able to handle this. Uh, I do want to get to a Pokemon Center to, to heal up soon. I don't know. It just annoys me when my, my Pokemon aren't fully healed. Like, even though I know they're going to be fine. I don't know. Maybe this is just me. Tell me if you feel the same. Like, even if one of the Pokemon has just got 10, like, health points taken off them. And I'm going past a Pokemon Center. I just have to go in and heal. It's more of like a... Like, uh, a fact that it irritates me when they're not healed up, rather than it being anything that makes sense. And actually, uh, Miss Stumpy Cat has still fainted, which means she is missing out on all of this experience that I'm getting from uh, winning all of these battles and things. So uh, I do want to kind of just go and heal up just for, for her. But then again, I, I do get the same amount of experience. So that experience that she would be getting is still just going to my, my other Pokemon. So, you know, it's not the, the end of the world. And I also want to try out my... um. What I call it? My Boopy. <laughs> I want to try out my Boopy. I'm never going to remember the real name of that Pokemon. I've already forgotten it. I promise. I actually, my memory is so bad with names and things. I've actually forgotten what the actual name was. But my Boopy, I will remember that name. And I can, oh, didn't mean to do that. I can switch you and put you here. So then we can go and uh, try out Boopy and uh, and see what it can do. But I need to, I need to heal up. Is this a Pokemon Center here? I don't know what this is. Oh, hello. Hello there. <laughs> Uh, Deli Bird has hold of your bag and won't let go. It seems it wants you to follow it into the berry fields. Okay, you could have just asked. You don't need to steal my things. Zzz, something is going on in the berry fields. Get in there. My berry supply kept safe. Okay, what's going? What's going on in the berry fields then? Um, okay, looks like uh, we're taking a bit of a detour. And oh no, it's Team Skull. And I haven't had a chance to level up yet. Oh no, not these jokers again. Yo. You got a lame bunch of berries. Now Team Skull's your adversaries. Taking berries off your hands is just the start of our plans. Yo! Let's get figgy with it. Watch while I namab me some berries. I'll share, I'll share my berries for free with any Pokemon. But you... you'll. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Let's start that again. I'll share my berries for free with any Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the man speaking. But you'll not have a single one from me. So, what? I'm lower than a Pokemon. Is that what you're saying, is it? I already got self-esteem issues, man. That ain't cool, man. Uh, and what are you looking at, huh? Uh? 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 Yo, hold up. You're... You got a bone to pick with us, homie. You and Cat may have beat us in the marina, but you won't be so lucky if we get serious, yo. I appreciate your concern, child, but these Team Skullpunks are nothing but talk and a big act. You carry on with your island challenge. Don't give them a moment's notice. Yo, we're standing right here. At least act a little bit afraid or something, you know. Yo, you're trying to run away. We're going to have to take your Pokemon along with those berries. Yo, check out how hard-headed Team Skull grunts can be, yo. Right then, against these jokers. Oh, I really wish I went back and healed. Oh, hopefully they don't beat me now. Because if they beat me, I, I won't count it as my fault. I count it as the fact that my Pokemon weren't healed. Does that count? Can I just say that? <laughs> All right, oh no, I got my Boopy out as well. My Boopy's really hurt as well. My poor Boopy. I hurt my Boopy. Oh no, I got a painful Boopy. Oh wait, are they all healed? If you look, oh no, my, po my Pokemon are just all magically healed. Okay, I'll take that. Right, what can we, uh, what can we do then? Um... Let's go for an arm frost. That seems to be my strongest move. I think fighting moves might actually be quite good against psychic or the opposite. Oh no, I think that maybe they're really bad against psychic. Oh, it's the opposite. Not very effective. I knew there was something to do with fighting and psychic, but I kind of got it the, the wrong way around. Right. That's not what I want to use then. Let's uh let's play it safe and let's let's switch to to good old Bowie. Good old reliable Bowie. Let's go and uh, and bring um her out and uh, let's go and see her him. I don't know. It. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you know the, the difference. So yeah, let's go and bring out Bowie. And uh, what does Ghost do against um against Psychic? Like, I did used to know all of these, but it's, uh yeah, it's just going to take a little while to get back to me. It's so much easier now, though, because once you've battled a Pokemon once, it shows what is effective and what isn't. So at least you don't have to, to second guess yourself when you're kind of choosing which attack. It's kind of just picking which Pokemon to, to bring out is where you kind of really want to, to either learn everything or just to, to have it written down in front of you at all times, <laughs> which is, uh, I guess, uh, another option that you could do. Uh, but right then, 
that's uh, Drowsy uh, defeated, and uh, and uh, was it Team Skull Grunt B defeated as well? And oh, Boopy wants to learn Fake Out. Uh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Learn. Yeah, I like Fake Out. Uh, let's get rid of. Um Let's get rid of Focus Energy, because I never use that attack. That's the one that needs to, like, charge up. Uh, but yeah, I never actually ever use that. So let's get rid of that, and uh, let's use Fake Out. And uh, everyone got a whole load of experience. Miss Stampy Cat is finally leveling up again. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. You received 320 monies from winning. Well, thanks for just donating some money to me at the end of the, the battle team skill. They can't be that bad if they just give away real money. Yo, for real, you best stop trying to act hard, kid. Yo, I'm so annoyed right now, homie. Let's go mess with Lalima again. Oh yeah, let's do it. Verdun Cavern is pretty close by anyway. And you, you better listen to what my boss says and drill it into that thick skull of yours. For real, you'd better not go forgetting them skull. Out of here. See ya, yo. Ho, oh, you and that... Um, Boopy there did quite the number on him. Allow me to thank you for driving off those Team Skull numbskulls. You obtained an Oran Berry. You opened up the berries pocket and put the Oran Berry away inside. Oran Berries can restore some of Pokemon's HP for them. You can feed a berry to a Pokemon or let one hold a berry and they'll eat it when they need it. If you're ever looking for more berries, you won't have to look very hard. Ha 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 ha! Berries grow like, well, like weeds here in Alola. So feel free to pick up any you find. Right then, so I guess we got a bunch of berries. Did you give me my bag? Is this my bag? Uh, oh no, this is an Oran berry. Okay. Oh, there's just, there's just loads of berries just in a big pile beneath the tree. Like, I remember you used to have to, like, plant them on bushes. And then we've got a bunch of different berries. So these are good because I have been equipping my Pokemon with potions and things. And it hasn't seemed to be doing anything. So maybe I'm using the, the wrong one. So that puts their HP up and that allows them to recover from, um... Uh, from poison. Right, let's go. Let's go and give out some some berries then, and uh, use that uh, instead of um, the potions. Because yeah, they, they don't actually seem to to be using any of the the potions. Let's go and uh, uh, spread out these to to some people uh, instead, uh, which means that basically they'll be able to to heal themselves in a, a battle. Uh, you know, rather than you having to to go and give them a, a potion and heal them uh, that way. And oh, can I can I plant? Because this is the the berry fields. Surely I'm going to be able to plant, but it looks like I'm not able to yet. And I found another mushroom. Apparently, like, someone collects the mushrooms or something. I looked at the description because I found a, um, a small mushroom in the last episode, and it says that, I don't know, someone really likes them. So <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to, to, to keep an eye out and uh, see who it is that, that really likes the, the, the berries. And, uh, and let's look in here. This seems to be, like, some sort of farmhouse, I guess, full of, uh, full of loads of Pokemon all over the place. Which I guess shouldn't be a, a surprise. Oh no, one gave me a revive. Thank you. <laughs> and that shows the benefit of always going around and just talking to everyone uh, throughout the game. Because sometimes they randomly give you things and it's hard to, to complain about that. Anyway, that is the, the end of this episode here. I think overall a rather successful one. Uh, we're going to carry on making our way up Route 2. I might take a little bit of a detour and wander into this place. Is this like a... Um, I think this might be like a, a hostel or something. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, we can maybe check out what's inside of there. Then we keep making our way up Route 2 and uh, yeah, see if we can find the, the cavern. Uh, but for now, that is the end of this episode here. There'll be a link in the description to the next episode, uh, as well as a, a playlist which has all of the, the episodes together if you want to watch them that way. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you all uh, later. Bye!